daughter's room. Welcome back, everybody. Today, we'll be looking at auditing America, getting denied entry to the courthouse, and then doing the walk of shame. Enjoy the video. Live at the Georgia State Capitol. Guys, we have a uh, constitutional emergency right here with, uh, with this officer right here. Guys, he's a tyrant. I need your help, okay? They just violated my rights in this building. And we need to get in touch with this person's supervisor. We need to get in touch with this person's supervisor. These people are tyrants, guys. They just violated our rights. Let me guess, they didn't let you guys walk all over the place and record in the courtrooms. So now they're tyrants. They just violated our rights, especially this guy right here. This guy right here. Please hit the like button on your way in and share this live stream. He's hiding his face like a coward now. At first he was, uh, at first he was, uh. At first he was, ah. Uh, sorry, I don't speak that language. I do not understand that sentence. Treating me like shit, guys. So here you go. Guys, I'm at the Georgia State Capitol. This is Officer Fraser from the entrance. Officer Fraser, guys, we have a tyrant alert here at the Georgia State Capitol. Vi people's rights are being violated. People's rights are being violated. And this guy right here must be fired. Fraser. His name is Fraser, like the boxer. Guys, we were harassed as soon as we got here. I don't know his batch number, but his name is Fraser. Fraser, Fraser needs to get fired. He's not even a regular cop, guys. So, Officer Fraser from the Georgia State Capitol in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, is disorderly. He's disorderly. He disturbs uh, the citizen's peace. Ask Samo, how is he disturbing your peace? He seems pretty quiet over there. And now we're peacefully protesting here, guys. This guy needs to get fired. Fraser, do you have an employee ID number, sir, that we can complain on? Okay. That's sir? why you're taking notes of the Constitution as opposed Excuse to just following orders. Sorry, sir. Correct. Sir, are you, are you his supervisor? No, that's his supervisor. Okay, I just want to let you know that there's 200 people watching you live right now, sir. And every one of them probably is going to end up calling about the behavior of this gentleman right here. Uh, do you, uh, do, oh, he's the supervisor, so he already saw how he treated us. Do you condone or accept that type of behavior, sir? from the Georgia State employee. Do you, do you accept that behavior? <laughs> Sir, I'm asking you a question. You saw it, you don't, right? Okay. At least, at least he said he don't. Well, yeah, 200 watching guys. You see, this guy right here, he, he's gonna learn, he's gonna learn the hard way. This one right here. Funny thing is, I wonder how long this guy has worked here, guys. And I wonder how long he's been uh, treating the public with disrespect. You see, you, you, my friend, you're gonna end up working at Walmart. You're, not, you're gonna end up wor working at Walmart, Fraser. Well, that's not gonna happen, but where will you work when YouTube demonetizes your content? We, we've been nothing but polite, and you know what? That's the best thing to do when, when we're doing these videos because everybody sees that we're not starting shit. It's all you guys, sir, sergeant. 
this sergeant doesn't. He's been very respectful, but you haven't you 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 haven't re, uh, honored the, but you haven't honored the Constitution. You have to protect our rights, and you haven't. That's fine. That's fine. We're not. You're not here for our entertainment. You're here. No, no, sir. You're here to protect the Constitution, and you didn't. That's why. That's why I'm peacefully protesting. I am, but I'm. I'm making sure that, that my viewers know that this guy needs to go. This guy needs to go. Oh yeah! Right after we got violated on the way in. Yeah. There is a law about disrupting state employees. Okay. So. What What law is the First Amendment? He. How specific? Oh, now you're threatening us. I'm be, I'm exercising freedom of the press, and I have the right. What you're gonna arrest paparazzis? You're gonna arrest a paparazzi? Okay, arrest a paparazzi. There is a law about about what? Just, listen, what? I just told you, go look it up. That's if I'm physically uh, impeding his job, sir. I'm not. Oh, so speaking, speaking is no, sir. I've already read the law. You can't arrest me for freedom of speech. Okay, now you can. You're gonna arrest me for freedom of speech. You guys are laughing at being arrested for freedom of speech. You know, we may be punks. We might not be the nicest people in the world, but at least we care about the Constitution. This guy says we have nothing better to do. I've interviewed Martin Luther King Jr.'s niece. I've interviewed CIA whistleblowers. I've interviewed PhDs. I've interviewed scholars from MIT with not one, not two, not three, but four degrees. I interviewed the inventor of email, and I truly care. And we interviewed you, and we were extremely disappointed. You kept dodging questions and talking in circles. Our human freedoms, and to see you guys not only disrespect us but the Constitution and laugh at us, that's, bringing up our rights is truly sickening. That's fine. There's 300 watching right now. There's 300. There's 300 people watching us not break the law, not break the law, and 300 people watching you threatening us, sir, with the First Amendment. And, and this guy is really? Proud to tell us, this guy, this gentleman right here, is proud to tell us. Instead of having accountability and transparency in the people's house with all these people working with our hard-earned tax money, instead of being able to go talk to your senators, talk to your congressmen, they're threatening to arrest us for asking the Congress questions, which is, the exact, which is literally something that fascists do. Threatening to arrest somebody for freedom of speech or protest is fascism. That's the definition of I mean, I mean, what do you think? Why do you think the First Amendment was created, sir? It was it was for you guys to respect uh, the people when they disagree, to give us our right to to say whatever we want. That's what this country is about. You're gonna say disrupting the employee? Am I am I disrupting him because he doesn't like what I'm saying? I'm not being loud. I'm not being nasty. You can't take anybody uh, out of here because of what I'm doing right now. Hey, I may not be, I, I, I may be a little bit annoying, sir. On that note, we agree, Asalmo. You are extremely annoying. But, but I'm not breaking the law. Why is there six cops here? For the First Amendment. For the First Amendment. First Amendment. Somebody's... Well, you guys are here. Yeah. Are, you, are you listening to that? No. Are you listening to that? No, no, no yeah. sir. I'm not assuming it, sir. I'm, I'm, it's a fact. He called you guys. Guys, guys, call the call the Georgia State Capitol and voice your concerns about Officer Fraser and the way that he treats people on the way into the people's building. He thinks they're entering his 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 house, and then he calls me daddy. He calls me daddy. Sir, please answer my question. How do you feel as a as a black cop in the South? where cops used to, these, the white men like these, used to run after you. <laughs> and now you join them. <laughs> Asamo, that is completely ridiculous. You were completely reaching. Let us just all get along.
<laughs> they used to, they, uh, uh, me as a Puerto Rican, as a Puerto Rican, you know, Taino, Spanish, and black, okay, African, <laughs> I can tell you, sir, that you're a loser, and you're a sellout, and you have no soul, and you've been owned, sir, because even though you feel like you won, sir, because I gave you my ID, I gave you my ID, sir, so I could peacefully protest here against you. I don't care about anything else in this building anymore than protesting about you, sir. You understand that? There's nothing more powerful than peaceful protesting, sir. So, as long as I'm peaceful, sir, I'm ahead of the game. You're all below us until we break the law. Then we break the law, then you guys can say something. Georgia State Capitol. Georgia State Capitol. Where they violate everybody's rights. Oh yeah, look, the whole the whole squad got here. I've never seen so many officers for just two weirdos. They should just break out the taser and tase them both. No wonder they, they, they send the black ones to the desk. You call the whole squad. Not even, not even one black officer came over here, bro. What do you think about that? Do you think they're really on your side? <laughs> Oh man, they used to come after you. Didn't you didn't didn't your ancestor used to go after him, sir? <laughs> hey man, that's the history of this country. I didn't I didn't make it up. You can't get mad about Yeah, I'm gonna give you about one more minute. Sit here. No, sir. I'm gonna go ahead and leave. I'm gonna go ahead and leave, but you know what? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna come complain on you. That's fine. I'll be you're threatening me about my First Amendment. You're dangerous. I'm leaving. Yo, yo, Will. This guy, this guy's dangerous. He's threatening. He's threatening with arrest. What's your name again? So we, have, we Seymour, Sergeant Seymour, guys, threatening with arrest. Here we go. He said we got one more minute before we get arrested for I don't know what because we haven't been loud. We haven't. We haven't been nasty. All we're doing is peacefully protesting. This guy's treating us like shit, and you want to take us to jail, sir, for protesting a gentleman that has not that 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 treated us bad. I've done nothing but treat you with courtesy and dignity, sir. You're threatening me, sir, with the law. Okay, officer, it's been one minute. Either they should leave right now or whip out the handcuffs. I'm going to step out because you're dangerous. You're dangerous. Guys, I want everybody to call the Georgia State Patrol office. There's nothing but tyrants here threatening the people to arrest. And I'm out on bond somewhere. If I get arrested right now, you won't, I won't see the day of light. Ooh, that's exciting news. We had no idea that Asama was still on bond. If anybody has any information about this, please send us an email. Guys, please call the Georgia State. Call the Georgia State Patrol. Call them. Let them know about Officer Fraser. Let them know about Fraser and Seymour, Sergeant Seymour. Tyrants. Tyrants. Guys, somebody. Guys, somebody needs to complain on these people. Make sure you hit the like button. Please get this video, like this video more. So 
guys, please. This is the guy. Georgia State Capitol. If anyone wants to complain, complain on Sergeant, Fre uh, Sergeant Seymour. And Officer Fraser, right there. As usual, before we let you go, we will include the Walk of Shame. They're all losers. You guys are all traitors. Have a good one, traitors. Traitors to this country. Traitors. Well, guys, unfortunately, this is why Mr. America has to continue doing what he's doing. Is because even when you when you're polite, even when you're nice, even when you articulate your argument to leave. That's why we always say F FTP. You're F tired, man. You need a break. You need a break. It's hot today. It's how hot many today. how many bad guys you catch today, sir? Yes, sir. None. Hey, let me ask you. There's one a couple in there. And yes, there's two of them right in front of you, officer. Grab them. Anyways, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video. I live here.